welcome to five minutes with me pastor martin sumono and today i want to share with you from book of colossians chapter 3 verse 16 and it reads let the word of god dwell in you richly in all wisdom teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs singing with grace in your hearts to the lord now it says let the word of god dwell in you richly you see a lot of people want to be great in life a lot of people want to experience so much things most importantly a lot of christians want to enjoy the flow of god's spirit in their life the atmosphere of god's presence they want to be eloquent in scriptures they want to see the word of god work mightily in their lives now the principle of the word of god tells you say let it dwell in you richly in other words You've got to store up God's word mightily in you. And how does it come in? He said, in all wisdom. Meaning that the word of God is indifferent. It, it deals with all aspects of human endeavors. You want to find out how to succeed financially? Let the word of God dwell in you there. Store up the word of God and get to know what the word of God says about your finances. You want to get the wisdom of God concerning your health? Store up the word of God there. Get into the word search it out listen to it watch it and let it stay inside you take the word of god into you as it touches your finances your marriage childbearing fruitfulness in career fruitfulness and everything it says in all wisdom let it dwell in you richly in all wisdom while in all wisdom so that you can come out victorious in every aspect of your life and walk in not just absolute victory but you become a master over every aspect of your life so he said, apart from just taking it in, he said, how do you get this done? He said, teaching one and admonishing one another in psalms, in hymns, and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. What it does means, means how do you take it into you? It's not just watching or listening. You got to have it repetitive around you. You're going to keep talking it. You're going to sing it. You're going to share with the brethren. And you're going to listen to them share it back with you. You see, as you participate in singing in Psalms, of declaring the word of God over yourself, over your life. Now, when you say in Psalms, it doesn't mean you should go and study all the book of Psalms and just stay in Psalms. No. What it means is make melody out of the word of God that you study. Make melody out of the word of God that you listen to. He says, sing it. Declare it in praise. Declare it in faith. Like the scripture tells us, it said, the fruit of our lips, making confessions to his name. So when you do that, that is like a psalm. You're declaring God's word. Like when you say, Father, I thank you because your word tells me I'm the head and not the tail. Therefore, I declare in the name of Jesus, I'm the head, not the tail. What are you doing? You're storing it in. He said, you shall be far from oppression. When you begin to declare those words, you sing with them. You're glad about it. It stays in your spirit. And you know what's going to happen? It's going to change your mindset. And when your mindset is changed, it will affect your action. And when your action is affected, it's going to bring in the result of the Word of God concerning any aspect of your life. So today I counsel you, you know the areas you want to see change in your life. Let the Word of God dwell richly there. Store up the Word of God in you. Declare it boldly, irrespective of who wants to hear or who doesn't believe. As long as you believe it and hold on to it, He's going to give you the answer. Wherever you are right now, you know me, Jesus, the Lord of your life. I want to say these prayers with me. Dear Father, I believe your word. I believe you sent Jesus to die for me. I receive your forgiveness and the witness of your spirit that I'm saved. I declare that your day is blessed. I rebuke infirmities to go from you right now. This day, your healing is permanent. Your testimony is sure in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today will not end before you testify to his goodness in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to check yourself. You will notice a miracle has taken place. And when those favor begins to roll in, take advantage of our comment session and let me know what the Lord has done for you. And I come your way same time. This is Pastor Madison. Keep living in the miracles.